Hey guys, so a while ago I was asked to do a video on the redstone under the bowling alley here in Scotland and maybe kind of explain how you might be able to set one of these up for yourself. And for those of you who haven't seen what it looks like, uh, this is pretty much what happens. And I will actually build one of these on the video so you can kind of see how it's done step by step. So I'm gonna go show you what's behind here and see how it's set up. So basically we have the pistons here and here's where the pressure plates are above. So when one of them triggers it, it'll set this off and then it'll tell which of these torches to turn off and that'll make the piston drop. And I'll explain all this a little bit more when I show you how to build one. And from here on, this whole setup is just for the lights, or if you are wanting like music blocks or something like that, you can do it. If you don't need that stuff, then you can pretty much stop building it here. So I will show you when we get there. This is just what it looks like when you have multiple lanes next to each other. Alright, so to save a little time, I just decided to build all the boring stuff off camera, and I'll show you all the redstone while I'm recording. So the, the main part here is that there is ice underneath half slabs, so whatever object you're throwing can slide on it. It can be seven blocks long and however wide you want to, but I decided to make it as small as I could, so it is five wide. Everything with the light wood here has ice under it. Then you're going to need to put a space here so you can put your pressure plates, which we're going to put one in the middle and then one on each side. Then you're going to need two full blocks, then your piston will go one below so that way when your pins are depressed they are level with the ground. Now you can use whatever block you want uh, for this example. I guess I'm just going to use stone because that's what I have in my hand. Now I can drop down here and start doing the redstone. Alright, so you're going to need to just basically put a block with the space in between it under each piston and then put a redstone torch on top of each of those. Now to make sure that you did this correctly, I would just go back up and make sure all these have popped up. Okay, so now I'm going to put down all the repeaters I believe I will need. I haven't built one of these for a little while, so hopefully this is right. Um, if you need to stop the video and go back and watch it, just take your time, otherwise it, I can see how it could get frustrating. And then we're going to need to put blocks under where the pressure plates are. So this is where the pressure plates are. There's one in the middle and then one on each side. Then we'll put redstone on each of those. Now you want these two to be connected. That should not have happened. Then this one should just go to the middle. Then the outer side should go to these two. Since there's a repeater in between, the redstone won't touch. Same for here. Make sure you have redstone going to each of the blocks. Now, f f if you want a kind of a cool cascade effect, what you can do is take the outside two repeaters and take them back a notch or two. So that way, if you hit the outside piston, it'll trigger this, and this one will fall before this one. Now in order to get the middle to have four pins go down, you need to set these up. Um, I, I usually set this back a notch for the cascade effect again, and then we need to tunnel under here so I can connect this redstone to the back repeaters. So this might get a little dark, but I think you can figure it out if you can't see. 
I'm going to have to place the block there when I come back. So now I'm in the middle under under all the uh, redstone torches. Now I'm going to just do the same thing on this side and then the tunnel will meet. Alright, so we just need to take the redstone from the middle here bring it down and just to make sure it will reach I placed a repeater this also helps with the cascade effect so the pins in the back have a delay from the front all right now so for all intents and purposes this is this is basically done that's all you need to do if you don't want the lights hooked up so to test it we can just go up here throw whatever and they should drop now I'm kind of experiencing some lag right now, so it might not look like it's cascading right, but it it should be. So if that's all you wanted, then you can stop there. Now if you want to hook up all the lights, we have to set up some other stuff under here. So we're going to need each of the pressure plates to trigger something else, and how we can do that is just take back the redstone from the beginning here and to make it so the redstone doesn't attach and then come off of this piston here we need to dig a hole so that's why I dug down two here and we just do that on both sides and then one for the middle this is hooked up to the middle pressure plate there. Alright, so what we're going to do here is make... I'll change this so it's easier to see. Should be five wide, and then we need to put redstone torches on top, and then on the side in between those. Then we put redstone between the top torches. And then each of these torches needs redstone going to the block it's on. Then where each of these torches are, you need a piece of redstone. And then we're going to basically make a small version of this here, where we have redstone on top, or torches on top. One in the middle here. And basically this is sort of a, a lock type mechanism I saw somewhere. So I know when all of all three pressure plates are on, that will activate this torch. Now for this part, there are probably a lot of different kinds of repeaters you could use, but this is the one I used in the Skyline Bowling Alley, so this is what I'm going to show you. So you have this piece of redstone, then you're going to need to put a space and then a sticky piston and then a block where the redstone's going. And from there you're going to need a repeater and then set that back four so it's got the longest delay and then back to the piston. Alright, so I'll show you what that does so far. Make sure everything is still working. Alright, now that should trigger all this stuff, and that turns on this repeater. So you can basically take this blinking redstone, and you can hook up music blocks or lights, and in this case I'm just going to hook up the lights. You can do that however, you just need to put some sort of stairs up so you can get the redstone up here. Um, I believe we're going to need a repeater and that's pretty much it I mean if you want the lights to blink in a specific pattern you can mess with the uh, repeaters here this is how they're hooked up in the Scotland bowling alley so that's it uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment and I'll try to reply or if I get a lot of the same kind of questions, I'll just come back and make another video. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.
just got fucking paid.